Hello guys, this is a short video uh, about uh, RC construction models that are hydraulic uh, powered, that have the hydraulic pistons. Uh, I'm sure you've seen a lot of uh, excavators, wheel loaders, track loaders and uh, cranes that are uh, incorporated with one hydraulic system uh, or the other and um, this is exactly what this model is. It's uh, a part of one of my upcoming pro uh, projects and it's a crane. It's hydraulic powered as you can see the tank uh, that contains the hydraulic fluid. Now the purpose of this video is uh, actually to show uh, a very important uh, thing you can do with your hydraulic models. Now I've seen quite a number of uh, videos of some of these models on YouTube and there's an irritating whining sound. Uh, you may have noticed uh, that sound is actually from the brushless motor which you can see there that drives the hydraulic pump. Now that motor spins at very high RPMs and uh, it makes the characteristic whining sound uh, that uh, you can quickly get tired of. Uh, but the sound is actually the least of the problems. The main problem with having your pump running all the time is that even though there's an overflow valve, that means that the hydraulic fluid that doesn't go into the cylinder when it's working goes back into the tank. But because it's working constantly, it generates heat and it wears out your pump. It makes the, the, the system to constantly be uh, under pressure. It weakens your, your, your hydraulic lines and it's generally not a good idea to have your pump running constantly. There's no need to have it running constantly. So what you need to do is, is to, depending on your radio, make a system where your hydraulic pump only comes on on demand. Now you can see an example here. I have my radio. I just put it in the field of view there and the hydro you can hear the pump is not on now and it only comes on when I move the gimbal. As soon as I release it the pump is quiet again and now that saves uh, unnecessary running of the pump and it avoids that problem uh, that uh, uh, the sound is uh, constant and the components get worn away. Now I'll just uh, extend the whole crane so that you would uh, get an idea. Now as you can see it only comes on on demand. However, if I choose to have the pump on constantly, I've now put it on a channel where I can decide to have it running constantly. And that is if I want to have an extra lift load or extra boost, I can do that. If not, what I've done is that I've mixed two channels, this channel and this channel. So this is the master and it mixes with, uh, maybe I've just said 60% of this uh, other channel when it's in use. And um, I will not go into the specifics of how to mix uh, channels because it's actually useless uh, to only learn on one uh, transmitter. There are thousand transmitters out there and every single transmitter have their own ways of mixing. But you'd see how to mix in your, in your, in your user manual that, is, uh, that came with your transmitter. And if you're in doubt, just ask somebody and uh, do the mixing. It, I personally think it's much better to listen to the sound of the truck's engine uh, or sound module instead of listening to a brushless uh, wireless pump. Well, that's about it for this video and that was the only uh, uh, thing I wanted to point out. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed what you saw, like, because this project will soon be finished. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Bye.